Yo, what's good? Let's check out episode 8 for E to 10 Deities. Logo reveal. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshes. Links in the description below. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist, though I don't just do reactions for this series. I do reactions for a ton of others, and you can find those in the playlists on the channel. Previously in E to 10 Deities, we saw the battle within... Bro, it's been two weeks. I literally don't remember the name of the city. The city with the demons, right? They cut off all the exits, and they invaded. The E to 10 have invaded. And it looks like the Emperor Demon guy is about to face off against our boy, Hi Hayato? Hayase? Fuck, what's his name, bro? Hayato. He, they're about to face off, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Hayato's pretty decent, whoops his ass, and then saves the prisoners. I don't know. But, um, yeah, from here, just go check out the episode. Zobel, that's the place. Zobel, yeah. Yeah, you got any doubts as to if he's a god now? Sheesh. My God, bro. Oh, dude, you're like messing everybody up here. You better be careful. You might kill these people. Oh, well, actually, I don't think he can. Oh, bro. Oh my God. I was just gonna say, I don't think he cares about like hurting the people, but wow. Uh. Ah, oh. stupid puppets. What she do? Bo what the fuck was that? Uh oh, she's gonna see where they're all coming from. Dude, she's just gonna appear behind him now. Kind of dumb. Kind of dumb. <laughs> she's kind of dumb, dude. Yeah, she's kind of dumb. The pigtailed bondage girl. What the fuck? Hmm. Sheesh. This is this is giving me like heavy Dragon Ball Z vibes, dude. Except better animated. Well, actually, I haven't seen Super, so I don't know. I, I I'm just you know better animated than like Dragon Ball Z. Um, not Super. I mean, there's some good shit in Z, but whatever. Oh, that's cool. Let's do this. He's gonna he's gonna beat his ass with the dude's arm through his fucking chest or stomach. I don't know, whatever. Oh dude, he like he he dude, wow. He shredded the bones in that arm. She kinda dumb. She regrew regrew her clothing too? Jeez. You know, fucking bring all of the wires in and shit. Oh, dude, that is crazy. Bro. She dead as hell now. Oh. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Nah, you're too nice, bro. He's the reason people did that thing to you. That happened in episode one. Even if he took y'all as hostages, um, yeah, Hayato would have just like blasted through you guys. Like, the Edenten do not care that much. I'm just saying. So, doesn't really matter what he would have done there. I'm just saying. Bro, he's literally with the group that is causing all this shit. What do you... 
I I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't think normal people react the way that she does. A man did. I was gonna say you learned that in episode one. I know it's fucked up to say. I'm just saying. Like, you'd think you would learn, like learn, please learn. I don't want this shit happening to her. What's she gonna do? Make a deal with the devil? Oh, cool, a new one's coming out. Oh, he gonna have a little minion. Wait, what the fuck? Bro, what is this? Is she what? Is there like a, a next level? Is she like the next level of Eda 10? Is Grandpa him? Bro, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, so Grandpa created... Grandpa is like speaking from the other side, but why is he making demons on this side? What is the purpose of that? So the Demon Lord is an Eda 10. Oh, that's the one dude, right? That's barcode. He don't work for y'all. Hmm. Bro, this man's gonna fail. She gonna slap him or hit him? Oh, of course. How could you do that? What do you mean, bro? This dude's literally murdering people. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know the thought process that goes into this. Then close your eyes, bitch. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. Hmm. Well, he just said that it wasn't him, so. Oh, well, Demon Lord is like a, a robot anyways. Yeah, he's a robot anyways. But I don't think Rin's gonna die. Pop. Oh, okay, never mind. Crack. I thought I was gonna I thought she was just gonna straight up explode her head. Sheesh. There's still more to it. Like she's still alive. We still don't know what's going on with the demon lord. All that stuff. End of the episode. Okay. I mean, it was a pretty good episode, though, right? So, like, it, it brings a conclusion to that whole thing that's been happening, like the, the battle within Zobel. We get a conclusion to that. That's nice. I enjoyed it. Additionally, we see some, like, a little bit of humanity, almost, in the Emperor. So, that's kind of interesting, the fact that he's a demon. But then again, we do know that they are, the like, demons with human brains, I think, or, like human bodies, demons in human bodies, something like that, right? They're genetically modified human demon things. So maybe that humanity has always been there. And that was pretty interesting. Also, uh, the nun manifests a new Eda 10. Pretty cool. Separate being. So now we've still got the nun, like the human nun walking around as the human nun. But additionally, we have the manifested Eda 10 that looks just like her and also seems to have that same sort of... Um, Wanting to heal people? I don't know the terminology for it. Um, I think kindness? So I'm not surprised that I didn't know what it was. Still has that same, like, 
goodness to them. As opposed to the Ida Ten who do not have that goodness and literally just slay and murder people all the time. We saw Rin take on Brandy and almost lose, but then she's like, you know what, I'm tired of this. And she just turned the hell up. Bro, some wild, like she literally spun all of the, the hair, whatever, marionette strings from Brandy around herself to make a giant ball and then blasted everything away and like defeated Brandy. But then at the end, also, we see the Demon Lord show up and she's speaking with him and like maybe he's grandfather, maybe he's a manifestation. I don't entirely understand it. Like, why would the grandfather go to this other side, trap all the demons there, and then manifest on the outside to bring demons to power? Or maybe it's not about bringing demons to power. Maybe it's something else. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but I am intrigued by it. Maybe the Ida Ten were caught off guard when they went to this other realm and they were practically defeated by the demons. And so their hopes, ambitions, and everything manifested within the human realm as this demon lord. Also totally quite possible. I'm not entirely sure, but it is an intriguing concept to see what's going on with the demon lord and why he resembles in many ways the grandfather. And Rin still misses her grandfather, but on top of all of that, Brandy tries to go for this one attack. Legit, I I mean, I knew that she didn't kill Rin, but it looks like she did. And then obviously, no, she didn't because Rin just fucking whoops her ass defeats her and then we're back to 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 where yeah everything ended the whole entire battle within zobel is over everyone's taken down everything but miku is still alive she's out there doing a, who the hell knows the demon lord stuff is still unsolved that's still a another factor we're just unsure of maybe miku has a higher role to play here within that demon lord side not entirely sure i do know that this is a pretty enjoyable series and i actually do recommend it to people um obviously if you're watching this then you're watching the series i probably will recommend this when i do my best of summer 2021 i'll probably throw this in like a pretty decent spot i mean i don't think it's gonna be like a top three or anything but it might crack top five because not only is the story pretty interesting and i i think it has potential to end up being good like i don't know if it's like a good story so far but i think it has potential to be a good story it's just a matter of will it get there or not and then on top of that Again, animation, I've been saying this every single episode, basically, animation is on point. And well, that's something you expect when you are seeing animation from MAPPA. So from here, I'd love to know what you all thought of this episode. Please do leave a comment down below. I wanna know what you thought of that. What do you think of the reaction? Please do, again, leave a comment. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa chapter reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in then please do subscribe to the channel and until next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace